Okay, if you're struggling on this assignment, here's number one. We've got one over x divided by two over y. It's a, okay, it's a complex fraction, so you circle the top, the bottom. You don't have to add any fractions. Okay, you already you already have things simplified. So you've got 1 over x, and then you, instead of divide, you're going to write times, which you're allowed to do as long as you reciprocate the bottom, meaning put y over 2. So 1 times y would be 1y, and then x times 2 is written as 2x. So 1y over 2x is the answer to that problem. Okay, number 2. Okay, you've got a, on top you got two fractions, 2 over x plus 3 over y. Meanwhile, in the denominator you have 5 over x plus 7 over y. Okay. Now circle the top and the bottom when you're doing a complex fraction. Now look at the top. In order to add these, we need common denominators. Right now we don't have that because we have an x and a y. Well, if I put a y, add a factor of y there and to the top, then I at least have y on both of them. And here, if I put an x and an x, now I'm good. So now I can simplify the top. I have a common denominator of xy. Then on top, I just put the expression 2y plus 3x. Now I put times... Now I have to do the kind of the same thing on the bottom. So if I y, y, and x, x. Now I have a common denominator of x, y, okay? But you need to flip that, okay? So this actually simplifies into just x, y, and we got 5y plus 7x. Okay, x, y, x, y. That's your common nut, 5y plus 7x. But we need to reciprocate that now. xy needs to be on top, and 5y plus 7x needs to be on bottom. Okay, then put parentheses around your plus, okay? And then you can cancel out the xy. And we now have 2y plus 3x over 5y plus 7x. Okay, number 3. 1 plus 2 over x, and then 2 plus 3 over 2x. Okay, so simplify your top. Well, we underline the 1, and if I would just have an x there, then I would have common denominators, but I'd also put an x to the top. So, that gives me x as my common denominator, and then 1x plus 2. Okay, now right here. Now, if I would just put 2x here, I'd be good, and then I have to multiply by 2x here. So my common denominator is 2x, and then my top four, 2 times 2x is 4x, write that down, and then plus a 3. Okay, now I just need to reciprocate and multiply, so the top is 1x plus 2 over x times the bottom, I flip it to 2x, remember that bottom one needs to be reciprocated, 2x on top, 4x plus 3. Okay, your parentheses cannot be canceled, but your outside x's can be, okay? Now, you have to take 1x plus 2 times 2, so all you do there is distribute your 2 to both of those, so it's going to be 2x plus 4, and then 4x plus 3 on the bottom. Okay, number four, last one, three over 
2 over x plus y. Okay, here's my top, here's my bottom. So my top is just 3, okay? My bottom, I need to get the common denominator for fractions, so I underline the y. If I could just put an x there, I'd be good, but I also got to put that on top as well. So the common denominator is x, and I just put 2 plus xy. Okay, so I have 3. You put a 1 under the 3 times, and then you reciprocate that to x over 2 plus xy. So 3 times x would just be 3x, and then I just distribute my 2. 2 times 2 is 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times xy would be 1xy.